Uh, and uh, dear Laurie, how good you are back here in Denmark again for a while, short while, after you left us as American ambassador and returned to work as, they tell us, one of the sharpest lawyers in Washington. Thinking, <laughs> thinking about you, I, I'm always remembered of the words of the famous Danish humorist Robert Storm Peterson, saying that best is a good conscience, but second best is a good lawyer. <laughs> we, <laughs> we would all feel safe in the courtroom with you as our lawyer, for whatever reason we were brought there. But Today, it has been my privilege to turn over to you the Dialogue Prize, instituted by our marvelous friends here in the Dialogue Forum. As we all know, Dialogue Forum works, works successfully to promote dynamic, efficient, meaningful dialogue, and the prize goes to persons and groups with outstanding results in this. Therefore, if you return to Denmark, you could not avoid winning that prize. <laughs> we came to know you as not only an excellent and enthusiastic ambassador for your friend, President Barack Obama, but for tolerance, dialogue, mutual understanding between nations, groups, and individuals. You invested all your humanity and all your bright professional skills in coming to learn about us who now live in the country your grandfather left in 1910. You traveled in each and every corner of this country and you showed us in your soft and friendly manner that we could do much better to integrate and keep a constructive dialogue between people of very different backgrounds. We all remember, as Lisbeth also mentioned, that your visit with Danish Somalis to show the integration results of American Somalis in Minneapolis. You have been, you are, a great teacher about inter-ethnic, inter-faith, international dialogue, tolerance, and cooperation. Thank you very much for your work as the Ambassador for Dialogue. We are happy to have the privilege to know you and consider you our friends. Congratulations with the Dialogue Prize. Thank you.